900. That's how many meals key volunteers prepare every single day for residents of Borodanka, a village just outside the Ukrainian capital. Daria Sayed decided to help following her visit the village after occupying Russian soldiers had left. At that time, residents were starving and Sayed and her friends knew what they had to do. When we first opened the canteen, many people were crying. They received their first plate of hot food. They had tears running down their cheeks. Although the village was liberated from the Russian occupation in early April, most residents still eat at the canteen because they can't cook food in their houses, which are too damaged. This school is the only intact building in Borodyanka. When we came here, it was a complete mess because Kadyrov fighters had a base here during the occupation. Natalia Chernenko, the former principal of the school, also takes her meals here. During the Russian occupation, she managed to escape to the Czech Republic. But as soon as the village was liberated, she came back. I was shocked. Even though it was all cleaned up, the air smelled of fire. Everything was destroyed. Russian airstrikes damaged almost all the high-rise buildings in the village. Burned cars are still parked in the streets. Volunteers say that the villagers, especially children, are recovering from shock. So volunteers have set up a children's camp where professional art therapists and psychologists work with the kids. We saw that the adults were so busy with their own everyday problems that they forgot about children a little bit. So we are trying to be not teachers to them, but friends. To make sure the kitchens and children's camp continue to operate, Sayed and her team invest over $3,500 a month in the project. Funding is also provided through charitable donations made easier by a group that helped create a fundraising platform. We are working together with a USIT consulting company. They listened to our ideas and their eyes lit up. Such funding is providing the many jobless, homeless Borodanka residents with the only food they can get during this war. Anna Kostyuchenko for VOA News, Borodanka, Ukraine.